Okay, we're well, another session. Usual start position, uh, feet firmly grounded, support of the chair, hands are resting in the lap. And when you're ready, your attention is on to your breathing. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. And again. Each in breath, just start to increase the work of the postural muscles. There's an in breath, extend into the chair. Out breath, release. And again. Working on that extension plane. Tension in the extensors of the spine, lift to the chin. Relax, let that tension go from those extensor muscles. Good, breath to the middle. And this time as you breathe out, relax, look over the shoulder. Pull back into the middle, the in-breath tension on. Out breath, release, let the tension go. Return, in breath, tall. Out breath, release, let the tension go. In, nice and tall. Out, release, let the tension go. In breath, tall. Out, breath, release. Remembering each time you decide how much, how far you're going to move, how much tension you bring into the system. Last one to the side. As you draw in, big deep breath and hold. Hold the tension. Keep the tension there. Good, and then you release in the tension. Let the tension go. Nice and relaxed. Heavy through the shoulders, heavy through the neck. Back to your start position there. In breath, bring the shoulders to the ears. So shrug the shoulders up. Out, release, let the tension go. In, shoulders up, elbows bent. Good, out and release again, let the tension go. In breath, shoulders, elbows, you're squeezing the fists. And release, tension gone. In breath, shoulders, elbows, squeeze the muscles of the neck, squeeze the fists, and release. And again. Shoulders, elbows, fists, squeeze the neck, tighten the muscles of the face. Good. And release. Tension gone. Into the arms. In breath, reach up tall. Extend into the chair, down and relax. If your shoulders aren't happy, you can support them. So that in-breath, tall, reach up, out-breath, down. In-breath, lift, out-breath, release. And down, last one, big lift and hold. Push the fingers open, squeeze the muscles of the arms, nice and tense. Neck, shoulders, arms, hands. Good. And again, relax, let all the tension go. Rest heavy in the chair. Uh, 
Excellent. Okay, move forward in the chair. So that resting position looks a bit like so, just relaxed. And then you draw in, extend up through the spine. And with the out breath down, relax to the side. And again, so that's in breath tall. Feel the postural muscles tensing. Out breath, release, let the tension go. In breath, nice and tall. Out breath, release, let the tension go. Tension on, tension gone. Really enjoy the grow tall with the in breath, and then relax, let the muscles go, stretch to the side. through the middle this time both arms wrap around just sink back and rotate to one side return up to all the extension feel the back muscles working and release let the tension go in breath tall out breath release In breath nice and tall, out breath release. Good. One more each side. In breath, tall, out, and relax. In nice and tall, out, and release. And that big deep breath in and hold. Keep the tension there. And let the tension go, nice and relaxed. Heavy. Tension melt away. Yeah, good. Focus now on that pelvis. So remember the hands on the knees, it's that tilt forward, tilt back. Okay. In breath, roll the pelvis forward, the spine will follow. Out, release, let the tension go. In breath, roll forward. Out and release, let the tension go. In. And release. In. And release, tension go. Your hands come slightly, uh, hands, feet come slightly forward. In breath, tilt the pelvis forward, come into that extended position. Out, roll back, carry on the roll down. Reach towards the toes. In breath, forward, lift, extend the spine. Out, release. All flexion down towards the toe. You decide how far you're reaching. In breath, tall. Out breath, release. Down. In nice and tall. Out breath, release and down.
One more. Tension on. Release. Let the tension go. Turning there, excellent. Back into the chair. Again, it's that in breath tall. Tension in the spine as you breathe out, you let the tension out of the spine, lift up through the lower limb. Straighten the knee, pull those toes towards you. And in breath, tension on. Extend the spine out, relax, flex the spine. Stand through the left opposite leg. In and out. In and Good, big deep breath in. Hold the tension. And full relaxation to finish. Maybe another one. Okay, so now we're going to move from the chair into the second part of the functional exercise. I'm going to push the chair out of the way. If you use the chair for balance, it's absolutely fine. Keep it handy. If you manage without it, push the chair to the side. Just start with a little bit of balance to begin. So we're going to be on one leg. Move one leg to the side and slightly behind. Okay? So if you're swinging the right leg, you can have a fingertip with the right hand helping if you need to balance. So we start with a leg swing. It's the opposite arm comes in. Six, if you can, then you reach high with the arm. Swamp. Excellent. So you're going to change legs. So left leg swing. If you need to hold on, left hand is the one doing the holding or the balancing. It's the leg swing first off. Join in with the arm. Good, and overhead. That's one. Oh, good. Okay, so I'm going to bring some weights in. As you open out the weights, some functional exercises using the body weight, some resistance. Uh, nice and simple, just starting at the feet. We do up to 30 repetitions. So if this is your first session, five or 10, plenty. Middle, intermediate, 10 to 20. If you're in the advanced category, up to the 30. We're so up on the tiptoes and down. Five. Ten. Ten. 
going to remember you stop if you need to stop. Twenty five. Get some calf muscles down there, and giving you a bit of an ache. Into the upper limbs, then go for uh, some side raises. So up to 20, so raising your arms up and down. Five. Ten. So, twenty there, good. Living up nice and strong through the neck. I'm going to pop one weight down, we'll do a trunk. And then we're going to repeat leg, shoulder, trunk. So reaching down through the middle and over. Up to 10 on each. Ten, excellent. So there's a switch. And repeat then down, up and over. Five. Ten. Oh, fresh there, sorry. Forgive me. So bring the other way back in. <coughs> and with the legs this time. We're gonna park one foot in front of the other in our lunge position. We'll look like this from the side. You're just gonna hold that position, drop the weight down between the two feet. You're up to 15, 5 for beginner, 10 intermediate, 15 on the advance. Five. And And switching feet over. Again, one foot forward, one behind. Simple weight down between the two, up to 15. Five. Ten, five more. Up 
Yeah. Bring yourself back in. So with the arms this time, do um, front raises. So hands forward to shoulder height. Same principle, be up to 20, to five, to 10 for the beginner, 10 to 15 intermediate, up to 20 for the advanced. Take arms forward and return. Right. Ten. Ten. Excellent. Again, just going to put one weight down, work the trunk, make a wider stance, soften knees, weight across your tummy and your chest. You start that trunk rotation through the middle, opposite. You're more confident you feel to uh, weight further away. One, just bring the weight back down. Good, okay. Back in the last circuit, so we do some squats, shrugs, and the front bends. So feet are at shoulder width apart. Head up, shoulders back, just sinking the bottom down. And push back up. And as before, be up to 30. So that five or 10 for the beginner range, 10 to 20, and then up to 30. Five. Ten. Twenty, stop if you need to. Five, five more. Good. So the shrugs, palms are forward, shoulders up to the ears. So lift and down. Ten. 
10, slowly up to 20. Last five. So there, good. Okay, so the last bit with the weight um, front bend. So initially, it's that extension breath in, followed up with the roll down. So chin tucked in, stretch down. And in breath tool, tension in, out breath release. In and release. Two more. Last one. Yeah, good work on the function. Pop the weights to the side. The next module then will be down on the floor. Just take some water. Joining us down in the kneeling position. Usual starting position and hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, so 90 degrees. Let's set the rolling forward and back with the pelvis. You can see the tilt down and extension, roll back into flexion. Start to bring the whole spine in, rolling up, forward, rolling back, forward. Just hold there, take the bottom down to the feet, move the hands forward, hold that position. Good. Back into kneeling, space behind you, push the leg back, and turn, opposite, and return.
with if you can you want to make it a bit more challenging opposite arm opposite leg Palm hands on the shoulders, knees on the hips. We'll loosen up the spine. Stretch off the muscles. And bring yourself out from there, rest on your tummy. And your arms at the side. Action wise, you're going to be raising up that upper trunk. Lift and down. Feel confident, want to challenge it, hands at shoulder height. And this should feel a bit harder than the arms and the arms at the side. Good. A bit more challenging, hands overhead. You choose. Stop if you need to stop. Good. And last one. Excellent. Okay, you're just going to rest your forearms under the shoulders like so. Okay, we're kind of in an extended pose at this point. And for, we're going to work the hips, shoulders, and the, the core, the tummy muscles. You draw the hips up as if you were passing a pillow underneath your tummy. Hold that position. And then just ease yourself down. Let the tension out. When you're ready, bring the tension back in. Lift, tuck that tailbone under. Now, and drawing up the hips, holding, build the shoulders, hips, and tummy all working nice and strong. You almost tuck that tailbone underneath, so you're not just hanging like so. Holding, 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 release. And if you feel that you, that's okay, you want to make it a bit more challenging, you come up onto the knees, tuck the toes underneath, and then straighten the knees away. Be much more intense to the full plank. Pop the knees down, take the weight out. Remember, you're, you're only challenging yourself. So, option one, stay on your knees, lift your hips, hold. Option two, extend through the knees, hold. Okay, we'll do one more set. Whichever level you're on, half plank, full plank. 
hips up, holding. If you're challenging the higher level, knees off. Down, down, and release the pressure there. Excellent. Hands under the knees. Uh, goodness me. Hands under the shoulders. Into nearly. Loosen out the trunk. Sink the bottom down. And yeah, come from there then. Up and round onto your side. Holding that clamp position. So hips at about 45 degrees, feet are together on the floor. Hold the feet together, but open and close the knees of the action. Repetition range be up to 20. There's gonna be three exercises on the side. Feet down, feet up, and then leg extended. So just bear that in mind as you pace yourself. So set one, up to 20, open, close the knees. Again, this is your first time, five or 10. See how you feel. You know what your rep ranges are, you're challenging yourself. Five. Then mm -hmm. It, your feet up off the floor. As you hold that position, same principle, then up to 20 repetitions. Open the knee down. Five. And um, The last position, legs are extended. You hold the leg straight, raise and lower that top leg. Up to 20. Ten. Mm -hmm. So we well, so feel that. Muscles, the gluteal muscles, hip abductors, rotators on the side, working nice and strong. And switch sides. A moment to change sides. Okay. 
one. So first position, plan, hit the 45 degrees, feet are together, you open the knee and down. Ten. And from there, then that both legs come up. Over my toes, knee. Good. Last one, then legs extended. Raise that and lower that top leg up to 20. Ten. Excellent. Moving into the last position then, so lying on your back. First part, just a bit of mobility. So the head, neck and shoulders are relaxed. The knees are bent. Feet and knees are together. And we're just rolling the trunk to the side. Back through the middle. Across the opposite side. Be aware you might feel a click, a release of gas from the joints of the spine, or more of a clump of connective tissues, your tendons and your ligaments just click across each other. There. Okay, so I'm going to do a bit of hip control, we glide the leg away, and return, opposite, and return. A little bit of coordination, so right leg, left arm, left leg, right arm. Reaching over. Good. 
relax the arms, make the leg a bit more challenging, draw the knee up into the air, stretch the leg away, bring the leg back and down, back to the side, so it's a lift away, turn and down. If you want to add in the last challenge, we're taking these up, so we're holding the weight of the legs, and this time you push the leg away, return, opposite, and return. As you're easing back into it, uh, hands on, take your knees into the chest, and relax the legs down, loosen side to side, then mindful of any clicking or release of air in the joints, not harmful, you just feel a bit noisy. Okay, you bring those tummy muscles in a bit more. The hands are up towards the knees and down. You need to take the weight of the head if you feel the stress in your neck. Easing down there, you can make that more challenging then. Raising the knee as you raise the trunk. Good. And then the last challenge, same as similar the leg one before, you bring both knees up as you hold that position. And then we'll reach up and we'll turn again the weight of the head if you need to. Hold there then, bring this back, relax your head, neck and shoulders down, resting your shoulders back onto the mat, release your legs back down to the floor, stretch the feet away, hands are on the tummy, nice breath in, and out to release. Just bring those knees back in then. As before, just gently over one side, through the middle, across to the other side. Down and hold. across the opposite side. Mm -hmm. 
And then back into another round and stretching the hips of the left foot. Bring it up onto the right knee. Reach down, bring up that right leg if you can. If it's a bit too much, just take hold of that left foot, draw it in towards you, stretching the hip. As you release then, switching sides to the right foot over onto the left knee. Reach through. Ease yourself into the sitting position. One leg outstretched, one leg tucked in, reach down to the outstretched leg. Sides. Yourself back round into kneeling position. Rolling forward and back of the pelvis. And then holding, take the hands round to one side. Sink your bottom down. Out from there, round, down. Last time through the middle. As you hold there, nice deep breath in. Release. Bring your hands back to your knees, bring your head up above your chest. Nice and easy. Building back onto your feet. Yeah. As we began with the breath work, in breath, out to the side. In breath, out to the side. In breath, wrap your arms around, rotate. In, 
Out. Last time in Breckbridge Saul. Yeah, with the out breath down towards the feet. Excellent. Oh, finishing off draw. Feet under the knees, knees under the hips, pick up the ribs, shoulders back. Chin tucked in. Nice deep breath in. Our breath to finish. Well done, everyone. Till next time.